I have never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, come on, that can't be true. I'm sure you've been more humiliated than that before. Oh, what was that? You being lucky the door was in the way. Fine, why don't you go? I'll go. You can spend the whole night all by yourself, all alone, in the dark, nothing but you and the... of the club. And you'll, and you'll be here.
I can hold out longer than you can. You think past the salt is an invitation for sex? <laughs>
I want to be an old wife. Okay, fine. Let's do it. What? Do it? No, Kip. No, no what? No. I, I want to marry you because I coerced you. How does any woman ever get a man to ask her to marry you? <laughs> <laughs> do it is not what I had hoped for. Now, how do I know you're not asking me to marry you just so I'll put out? There's another reason. God, Ian, you're such an ass, Kip. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm confused, but I'm kidding. I want you to want me. C12. C12? C12, jukebox. Famous pizza. Remember two years ago, last June, you were having a bad day. Yeah, okay. Now I'm more confused. Okay. All right. We were talking about moving in together, and, and you just met my mother, and all you wanted was a roast beef grinder. And, and I, I didn't even know what a grinder was. And it's a hot sub. I know that now. I didn't know then. And we got in the car, and we drove for three hours until we got to famous pizza. Anthony was the guy working that night. How do you remember this? He was about to close, but he stayed open just for us, and he made you a roast beef grinder. Let us salt, no dairy. What is it, some kind of a test? Then? And you looked at me, Kip. And you picked up your sandwich, and you took a bite, and Anthony played cheap trick, I want you to want me, C12 on the jukebox, and you smiled, and you said... This is the way it should always be. Just you and me. Always. Sit. Close your eyes. Hey, it's dark. If your eyes were closed, you wouldn't know it. What difference does it make? Close. Hey, they're Self. Not bad for a Jew, huh? Do me the honor 
this all night long? That those people were going to be your in-laws, and yet you still disrespected them, made, made no effort to get along, Kip. Instead of asking my father for my hand, you flaunt in his face that we're having sex. You know, and you, th you think we're going to have the blessing now, Kip? Is that what you expect? Hey, ten minutes ago, you dropped me on my ass at the mere suggestion of the word marriage. That was humiliating. See, I want a treat, and you say no. I want to be your wife, and you mock me. Oh, ha, 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 just kidding, ha, ha. Life is not a joke, Kip. And people are not just pawns in your elaborate setups. And, and if this is the punchline, no one's laughing. Do you have any any idea at all how much I love you? So much. So much that I am going to say no. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I love you, Kip, but I don't like you. Not right now. You. You are self-absorbed, you're sarcastic, you're completely unaware of other people's feelings. Well, wouldn't that be self-absorbed? Sorry, I, um... You see, you don't even have the good sense to know when I am being serious. I can't hate you, Kim. I don't want to hate you. Believe me when I tell you this, I love you. Don't. 